Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to flip in Wrath Classic. So, what flipping is, is basically buying something for cheaper and then reselling it for dearer. So buying low, selling high, and you keep the profit in between. That is how you make gold with flipping. Now, there is a few things that I like to flip personally, which is materials, twink items, and BOEs. These all work really good and that I recommend flipping in classic. So how I personally flip is I will buy anything using TSM which is under 70% of the market value. And I will just show you what the market value is. Okay, with TSM it will show the market value down this side right here. So 100% is 100% of the market value, which means it's exactly what is meant to be priced, basically. And if it say it's 30%, that means it's only 30% of the of the market value. So it's a really good deal. And basically, how I use TSM is I have these pre-made groups with a whole heap of flipping items, which you can find these groups and my TSM listing settings and the import strings all inside of my flipping guide which will be the first link down below however I have all of these groups made out perfectly and so they got a whole heap of items that I recommend flipping going from materials to twink items and BOEs that are like currently used in the game and so what I do is basically I use the region uh, the market value to determine if it's a good deal or not and then when I resell it there's three options. So the first option, it goes off the smart average buy. So smart average buy, say if you buy two items, right? Or one item or any sort of items, amount of items, you can see just on the second number under TSM accounting, it says smart average buy. And this has a smart average buy of 15 gold. That is because I brought two of them at 15 gold. Um, if we brought something that had a different price, so here's a good example, this ax these axes. We brought two of these. We brought one at 70, uh, seven gold and 30, uh, 63 silver. And then the highest one we've spent is 10 gold and 19 silver. And if you look at the smart average buy price, that is rounded down to nine gold and 31 silver. That is the average of what I've paid for the particular item. And now with my first setting, when I'm posting, if there's competition and everything, and the price isn't very high still, of items that we've just brought to flip, it will post them at 20% profit on the smart average buy. So 20% more of the smart average buy. That is my first listing option that I have with TSM. And then the second one will send it all the way up to 100% of the market value, which remember we're buying under 70%, so 100, um, 100% of the market value is very, very good profit. That's over 30% profit. And then the third option can go all the way, if there's no one else listing on the auction house to undercut, it can go all the way up to 200% of the market value. So you can pretty much turn, say, like a 20% market value all the way up to a 200% market value using my TSM settings. I will not show them in the video just because um, they're inside of my paid flipping guide. So that's unfair to everyone that's paid for it. But basically what you get with the guide is you'll get all my groups, all the groups um, with all the settings and the import strings to basically just import it straight to your TSM and off you go. So this account, this account particularly, it's only been, um, I've only had this account for probably like three weeks now or so. And we've been doing a challenge where we started off with zero gold and we're going to work our way up to 10K gold inside of the bags. So we currently got a whole heap of listings on the auction house, as you can see, we've got 9,481 gold worth and we've got 3,314 gold in the mailbox, uh, in the inventory. And we've probably got a whole heap more sales in the mailbox. Let's just check it out. Yeah, we do. We've got a whole heap, 750 gold right there. Let's collect that. So as you can see, this really works really, really well. And I'm currently making gold with it. So all through the start of Wrath, this is what I've been doing. And this account only had started off with no gold whatsoever. And we've built it all the way up to like 4k gold in the bags and like 9k in the in the auction house. So it's a very good way. And all we do is spend about five minutes every single day 
doing a quick scan and relisting everything on the auction house and it's as simple as that so I'll show you what I actually do to flip with my groups so I'll head over you want to make sure you've got your TSM set up for your realm and, and everything is active like that and basically you want to go to browse and then you can select what groups you want to scan and by running a shopping scan it will show you all of them that are on the auction house and it will give you the market value right so what I like to do anything under the 70% market value is worth looking at in my opinion the lower the better you just got to make sure the thing that the item that you're buying is just not dear on your round for example the wind scales are 25 gold on my round but the region um, sale average is only one gold so they're just overpriced on my realm and you want to stay away from something like that so you want to look for the things and find items um, for an example we'll just let it load up and I'll show you an example of a good item that is worth flipping alrighty so for an example um, on this realm at the moment uh, we've got the earth roots they're at one silver and they should be um, like anywhere from three to eight silver so we definitely could buy all of those up and we'll buy them all up to um, this this one right here so up to five silver the 58 percent and then we'd probably release them all for the 85 percent of the market value or we could even buy them few and put it at 100 percent of the market value um, what else is another good item here uh, this looks cheap so 40 silver when it should be like two gold um, there's only one of those these are the best things to buy when there's only one and it's like a no-brainer you buy that up quick because then you're going to be competing with the next highest price which is very very good and you want that um, so another thing here would be what the silver leaf going for so they go for more too basically just you want to make sure that you're checking your historical price your region market value average the region historical price and the region sale average and you want to make sure that your market value is similar to those if it's way out of whack like where was it the scales right here for an example it says they're worth on my round 200 uh, 25 gold when really they're not they're only worth like two gold so you've got to make sure that like your market value isn't just way out of proportion you want to make sure they're all pretty similar and that is how I like to flip now I'll show you how I like to post with TSM, so it's very very simple. So we'll just grab the item that we got here. So as you can see we've brought this, we've brought eight of these in the past too. So our smart average buy is 30, 37 silver. And what we're going to do right now, is see I've got all my groups set up. They've all got operations which do certain things, which you can find all of them inside of my flipping guide. But as you can see, oh, we've got one of our one of our twink items here we can example too but we'll show the example with the um, desert sword leather so we paid as I said was it 40 silver for this and we released it for 90 so this is undercutting their competitors at the next highest price so we can post that and basically with my TSM operations you can basically just come here click post now and it will post absolutely everything that are inside the flipping groups um, for the correct prices and and that way you're making profit on absolutely everything that you buy and relist on the auction house anyways guys feel free to ask questions down in the comment section below if you want help with flipping but the majority of it is all inside my flipping guide which you can check out which will be the first link down in the description box below it's got all my TSM settings and import strings and it also has flipping guide for retail so it's got retail and Wrath classic inside of it so that will be the first link down in the description box below. Anyways guys, till the next one, take care and happy gold.